Okay, it's been a while since I've had a wrap up with this many books to talk about. So, let us see how this goes. Hi everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Maddie and I post content every Monday and Fridays is how it's looking. Uh, and I say content because my channel is titled for books. But I'm starting to post some uh, Troll Hunters content or Tales of Arcadia content as well because I love that show. And I'm going to do a little bit of more television related stuff. So subscribe if you're interested in that. Um, I turn my fan on. It's hot. <laughs> Give me a second. So now that we have a fan going, we got air going through the house, let's get into this wrap up. This is... June's wrap up, and I can't believe it's already June. Um, and I read, I read, I read this month. I read this month. I'm still one book behind my Goodreads goal, but you know what, Goodreads, deal with it because I can't believe that I read this many books this month. Yeah, look at this. I have a stack. This is gonna look great in thumbnails. I was tired of just having two books in a thumbnail, so. This is great. Um, I had a pretty normal reading month. My air just kicked on. Anyway, yeah, I read some, I read four stars, I read three stars, uh, uh, and I read one five star. So I'm excited to talk about that. So uh, yeah, my wrap ups, they're a mess. Don't expect a coherent video, expect chaos instead. All right, uh, let's get into this. Um, yeah, let's just go. So the first book I finished in June is the fourth book in the series. My granny and I have been slowly making our way through, and I say slowly because the series is so slow. That is The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth. We've nearly finished the Heroes of Olympus series. Uh, and I gave this a three star. My granny gave it a three star. She was really hoping for a good ending, and it just it just did not have a good ending. This series is such a disappointment for me specifically. Uh, I don't really think my granny really cared about when she went into this series. Um, I don't think she was like as excited for this series as I was when I went into it because this is like the spinoff series to Percy Jackson and I really ended up loving Percy Jackson and so I had really high hopes for this. But my thing is, it's just way too complicated with the Greeks and the Romans and uh, and then it's just so, they're so long books and they're so boring at so many points. Though I have to say, this is probably my favorite of the series, though I haven't read it in a month by now. Uh, so it's been a while since I even picked it up. But I did have a lot of good, uh, I have a lot of things tabbed up there, which is where I do that when I find some scenes I really, really like. I like Nico. I like Nico and Percy. I like the big three's children. Uh, so, like, I like Jason in the first uh, book of the series. I like Tim out of all of the new characters. Um, I also really like Leo in here, and I like Calypso and Leo. I like that coming back into play. I like Nico's revelations with Percy. I like Percy and, uh the place he's in in this book. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read it. Uh, so I like that it was just boring and the ending sucked and it did not get me excited at all to read the next one. Not at all. I have no excitement to read the fifth book, which is why I have not yet read the fifth book. Uh, Percy Jackson follows Percy who finds that he is a demigod and he is sent on quests. Boom. Quick, easy, let's move on. Okay, so the next book I read is Troll Hunters by Guillermo del Toro. This I gave four out of five stars. Uh, I really, really like this book. I have a whole reading vlog where I read this book full of spoilers for both this book and my favorite television show, Troll Hunters. Uh, spoilers for both of those things in the reading vlog. Go check out the reading vlog. I, t I spoil more of the book than the TV show, but I do talk about the TV show in the thing, so be warned. But, okay, if you have not seen Troll Hunters on Netflix, oh my god, you are missing out because it is such a good show. Okay, so, the book though, we're talking about the book, and this is a book video, not a Troll Hunters video. So the book follows Jim Sturgis, who has an overprotective dad, and one day he finds out that trolls exist in this world, um, and it is up to him to join this little Troll Hunters group uh, to take down Gunmar. Uh, so yeah, that's the best I can do. Honestly, out of this 
or the television show. If you're going to dedicate your time to doing one of the two, I say watch the television show because it's so great and the movie is coming out. It's coming out in July. It's going to be the last thing we get in the Tales of Arcadia universe and I'm just sad about it. But I did really, really like this book. I loved the beginning of this book. It was so great. It was fast paced. There was so much humor in it. I laughed so many times reading this book. The entire book I laughed so many times. Uh, but my favorite thing about this book and one of my favorite things about the television show is Jim and Toby's friendship. And their friendship is in this book. And one of the things that nearly made me cry was this quote. This is one of my favorite quotes. And it's not even like a quote like, uh, when someone says impossible, they usually mean improbable. It's not even one of those quotes. It is, my ninja, I said, my troll hunter, he replied. It is such, like, it's not even like a quotable thing, but it is one of my favorite quotes now because it's just so good and I cried when I read that. I started tearing up. I think a tear even went down my cheek. It was just, it's so, so good. Uh, well, the TV show is so, so good. This book was enjoyable. I did like it. Uh, it was a little bit slow in the middle and I thought the ending was just absolutely ridiculous. I thought the ending was so stupid. I hated the way this book ended. It, it, it all come together for a big fight and I was like, no, I don't like that. Uh, but if you like Troll Hunters, I think you will love this book or you're going to enjoy it nonetheless. And if you like this book, why have you not watched the show yet? And if you're looking for something to watch, go watch Troll Hunters. And then come back and talk to me in the comment section. Or DM me on Instagram. We'll have like a little fun chat. Instagram's linked in the description box, by the way. So, now we're getting into the books I wrote my granny. My granny and I recently started the Alex Ryder series by Anthony Horowitz. Uh, yes, I listened to the audiobook for the last two of the third and the fourth book, and I don't know how to say his name. Uh, but yes, my granny and I started this series. I'm currently filming a reading vlog where I'm reading all the books, and I'm going to have spoiler thoughts on it, but it's not finished or up yet because I haven't finished the series yet, so therefore I haven't edited yet. Uh, but this book uh, follows Alex, who after his uncle dies, and he has lied to how his uncle died, uh, he finds out that his uncle was a spy, and he is now forced into the spy business himself. And uh, this book he's sent to deal with a computer. Yeah. Uh, I gave this four stars. My granny gave this four stars. I liked this book a lot. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I wasn't really bored at all, which is good because it's a very, very short book. It's a good book. It introduces you to the character. It introduces you to the series. And it builds up a mystery like, who's Yasin? I mean, I've seen the television show, the first season of the TV show, second season finished filming recently, and I'm very excited to see that. But I've seen the first uh, season of the television show, my, both my granny and I really liked that, so I was like, well, what if we read the books? And that's what we're doing. Um, obviously, there's so much more to the books than the TV show, because the TV show only has one season, uh, and this has 11 books. Or Goodreads says it has like 14, I don't know. I only have a box set for the first 11. But yeah, four of four, I liked this. Let's move on to the second book, which is Point Blank. Uh, this, or Point Blanc, uh, if you want to say Chat Blanc, then Point Blanc. Uh, except they didn't pronounce the P. I heard somebody say Point with a French accent, and there was no P in it. So I don't know, Point Blanc, uh, Point Blank, whatever you want to call it, okay? Whatever you want to call it, I give this a three. My granny gave it a four. This is what the first uh, season of the television show is based off of. So I knew what was going to happen in this book. I was pretty. I wasn't like bored. There were still some fun things that happened in this book that I enjoyed reading. I was never like bored while reading. I just didn't like like hyper focus on it while reading. I skipped some. Like I just skim read some big paragraphs of description. Uh, I wasn't surprised at anything because I've already. I've already consumed the story, but uh, three stars, four stars. My granny gave it a four because she would. She thinks she would have like she was like a three star with me, but she knows she would have enjoyed it a lot more if she hadn't seen the television show. Um, and I definitely agree with her. I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I didn't already know what's gonna happen. But I knew it was gonna happen, so there's that. 
All right, and then my granny and I read the third Alex Rider book, The Skeleton Key, and I gave this a four, my granny gave it a four. And out of the three that we've read so far, this is my favorite of the series. I read like the first 50 pages, and then I got the audiobook, and the audiobook is fantastic. The guy who does it is just great. I don't listen to many audiobooks. The last audiobook I listened to was for The Girl Who Drank the Moon, and I hate that book. So I don't think the audiobook could have saved it at all. But this audiobook was fan-freaking-tastic. So great. I, I'm reading the fourth one on audiobook. Uh, but this one was just so action-packed. And even when at the beginning, when you're kind of like, like getting introduced, you're kind of like, well, why? What's up here at this... Uh, tennis place like what's going on here it still has like you're kind of interested i even dog-eared something i don't remember what oh uh i okay so i dog-eared this page because i thought it had like a funny scene so yes i really really like this i liked the two new characters that were introduced i thought alex was a really good spy in this one but one of the main favorite things about this is the fact that alex is not a very good spy he gets caught he trips up uh and i love that about it because it's so realistic like he's he wasn't even he never even wanted to be a spy, right? And so now that he's being forced to be a spy, he's not a very good one. Um, and I liked that. And I liked this book. Um, the ending, though, I didn't like... Oh, I didn't like the way this ended. That's the way I didn't like it. Because it was confusing to end. I like this ending, I think. Oh, my God. I don't super, super remember. Uh, I mean, it ended fine. Okay, yes. But I liked it. I liked the new characters introduced. I, this is my favorite storyline out of all three I've read so far. Um, it's, it's my favorite. And that's all we're going to say, because obviously I don't know how to speak. And slowly the spines are building out his name. Very satisfying. So yeah, that was a four for me and a four for my granny. And the next book I read is This Hunky Hunk. Yes, I counted this to my Goodreads goal, because I read this book. Uh, this is the Art of DreamWorks' Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia series. This was fantastic. Um, I love this so much. I read it in one day. I mean, it's not like a lot of words. Uh, it's not like so many words, but it's got so many cool images. I freaking love this. I gave it a 5 out of 5. Uh, don't worry, it will not be on my favorites of 2021 simply because of what it is. Unless I don't get any more 5 stars this year, then I will have to be my favorites of my top five because I didn't, I haven't read any, I haven't, I haven't read two five stars so far this year. Uh, but this book I freaking adored. I love this so much and there's still a bookmark in it. Uh, I love this so much. I just like seeing the behind, I love seeing behind the scenes of animations. I think animation is one of the craziest, most difficult jobs in my mind. Not like the most difficult jobs. I mean like police officers, firefighters, correctional officers. They have really difficult jobs. But I think just being somebody who can draw like that and is that good at art, is so mind-blowing to me because I suck at art. But this was so cool. Um, yeah, it just has like all these cool images. Uh, oh, and it has the dedication to Anton, and I cried. I cried while reading this. And I'm gonna cry up again. I'm gonna tear up again because Anton's not gonna get to see the fact that this his series became a series. Okay, let's just go. But moving on, we got like it has like all these cool images, and look. I'm pretty sure that's Bicycle Man from the book. If you've seen my my reading vlog on the book, I think that's who that is. Because I don't know who that is in the TV show. There's none of him in the TV show. Um, but yeah, it's just so cool. It was so cool to look through and see like all of these uh, concepts or whatever. If you like Troll Hunters, I definitely recommend you buy this. Uh, I got it off of Amazon for 21 bucks. If you get it in person, it's 40 bucks, and I think the 40 bucks is worth it uh, because it is so so freaking cool. It has behind the scenes. It's got like Claire was gonna be ginger. Claire was gonna have red hair, and it's just it's just so cool to look through and read. I read every single word on every page, and at the my favorite part of this book was either the characters or creating the sequence. Um. Let's see, let me go to, I really liked uh, the characters and I liked create, 
creation of a sequence. The locations were okay, um, uh, but I didn't really like the artifacts part, uh, just because I did, that wasn't my favorite part of the show. Uh, they had more information on the Darklands, and it was just... I loved this so, so much, and uh, yes... I'm getting, I'm going to have a whole bookshelf dedicated to Troll Hunters. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. So you know what? This is also a Tales of Arcadia video because I have so much Tales of Arcadia information on this. But yes, I love this. If you like Tales of Arcadia, I would definitely recommend you buy yourself a copy of this because it's so amazing. And it was freaking great. <laughs> okay. I think I talked enough on that. Uh, let's get into the last book, which is currently the 28th when I'm filming this, and I'm fi I'm finishing this book tomorrow, so I could film up this video tomorrow, but you see, the thing is, I showered and made myself look presentable today. I mean, I shower every weekday, but I don't always try and make my bangs look good because I don't go out of the house, but I did today, so we're filming the video. So I'll have to put on the screen our final ratings, but we have... Eagle Strike by Anthony, the fourth book in the Alex Ryder series. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this book because I, I mean, like, it was, like, entertaining, but I just feel like the mystery in this book wasn't as great as the other ones. So I kind of want to give it a three star. At the moment, again, official ratings will be up here that tell you what I gave and what my granny gave it finalized. Uh, but right now, it's feeling like a three, though I am only halfway. I'm finishing it tomorrow with my granny. So, yeah. I don't really get the whole 90 minutes to save the world. I don't know. The villain... There were some similarities between this book and the first book. and But we bought... But, but, but. We got more Yasin, and dude, I love that fact. So yeah, that is my wrap up. I'm sorry that I didn't talk much about the last book, but I haven't actually finished it, and I don't have many feelings on it, except it's okay. I'm The audiobook is great, though. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe down below, because I post on this channel every single Monday, and I post them on Fridays now, which I never planned on, but I post edits on Fridays, so check that out. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, do all those fun things. Uh, tell me what the best book you read in June was. The best book I read was by far The Art of Troll Hunters because it was fantastic. Uh, if you watch Troll Hunters, tell me in the comment section. I'd love to chat about it with you. And yes, bye everyone. And hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye guys.